Hey Fit Fam, thank you so much for tuning in this video and if you clicked it by accident, whatever, I'll still take it. But what I wanted to go through today is really how to get the most out of your F45 training. Now I've been involved with F45 for just over four years now and I've been in the personal training space and the fitness space for over 10 years. And these are just a few tricks and tips that I would like to give to a lot of people, basically so you get the best out of your training because that's what we all want. Trainers want that, you guys want that, you want that for your friends and family, all the rest of it. You want the best bang for buck. So here's some of my top tips for you to get the most out of your F45 training. Now before I jump into this one, I'm going to assume that you either know F45, you do F45, or you at least have the concept down packed. So if you don't, go look it up, find out what it's all about. But I'm just going to jump straight in so I can get into the meat of what this video is really all about. And that is about you and about your training and really maximizing it. Now tip number one is mix up the days that you train. F45 does cardio strength, cardio strength. You want to be having a hybrid between these. So if you're training say four days a week, I'd recommend two strength days and two cardio days. So mix up the days that you're training. Don't just hit all cardio because you want to lose weight. You have to also do weights if you want to lose body fat percentage as well. So mix up the days that you train. My second tip would be work with the partner you're trained next to. You're with them the whole session and I know there's going to be various levels of fitness depending on what the session is and who they are etc. But work with them. When you start working together you'll be amazed at how much more inspirational, how much more motivational you'll be and how much better you'll work together. Plus you'll have a much better time doing it as well. So work with the partner next to you. Push yourself to fatigue on weight days, particularly if you're trying to put on muscle. These weight days must be pushed as hard as you can. For example, on Romans, you're gonna end up doing four on the one station. You don't wanna be doing the same weight throughout all four. Go heavy to start with and then work your way back down. If you're doing all four weights and you have to increase on the last set, this is not how you're gonna get muscle fatigue. Go heavier than you can go for all four sets and then drop down the weight. That way your muscles will fatigue, you'll then build muscle hypertrophy, which will build muscle size as well. So go heavy on weight stays. Now this one's generic across the board, but nutrition is key. Now there is the F45 challenge, which is basically a nutrition plan over the eight weeks, which is a fantastic plan to follow. If you wanna maximize your results, which is what we all wanna do, you need to get your nutrition right. So if you follow this plan or work with another plan, doesn't matter, that will get you the best results possible. I always say that it's your training, which is gonna get you fit and strong. It's your nutrition, which is gonna get you the body composition changes, which is really one of the main goals you're trying to get out of your training. Now the next one would be get involved with your studio. There are a ton of events on, there are the playoffs, they probably have studio events, there are challenges, there's probably nights out, things like that. Get involved with it. The more engaged you are with what the studio is doing, the more you're gonna to wanna to come, the more you come, the better your results are. So get engaged with what's going on, allow yourself to just go with the flow for these. They're put on very purposely to build that camaraderie, to build that common uh, goal between everyone and it really does help, so really get involved with it. Track your results. There are body scans that studios put on as well. You need to see how you're progressing over time so that way you can make tweaks to either your training and your nutrition. You don't have to do it every single time, but if you don't know where you're at or you don't know how you're changing, how do you know what you need to alter in order to really increase your results? So track your results as best as you can and the body composition uh, results or the measurements are the best way to do that because you can really break down your fats, your muscle, all the rest of it, your visceral fat, and this will give you a really good reading on how you're sitting and how you're progressing over time. Now the next one is regarding double classes. Don't double on weight days. I don't mind people double on cardio days, but only if you feel good. It's called HIT training, high intensity interval training. I would not go into a session knowing I'm gonna do two. I'd go in really hard for one session, see how hard I can go, and if I'm feeling good, I might do a double. That might be for me once or twice a week, maximum. You're better off doing morning and night than doing a double in the morning, for example. I know a lot of people are trying to burn calories and all the rest of it, but when you go really hard for one session, you unlock something called EPOC, E P O C. go look it up. What that'll do is burn calories throughout the day. And if you're really maximizing your energy levels and your energy output, I should say, throughout a session, this will unlock your EPOC, which gets you amazing results. Plus you also maintain more of your muscle mass as well, which is what we want to do. So go hard in one session, try not to double and do not double on weight days because you cannot do muscle hypertrophy for an hour and a half. One of the next points I'd say is work with your trainer. If you tell them you want to be pushed, guess what's going to happen? They're going to push you really hard. It is so much fun as a trainer when you're roaming around to know someone really wants to get pushed really hard. They want to work with you. I know you want to get the best results. So tell them what you want, tell them to push you. And then that time when you're feeling exhausted, you're feeling tired, they'll be in your face, they're going to push you up. So work with your trainers as much as you can. Now this one as well is pretty cool, but it's for cardio days, is that use a heart rate monitor. 
What I find really helpful is that when you're in the training session and you can see your heart rate up on the screen in real time, it helps you push yourself. I'm a massive believer that do whatever you need to do to push yourself that little bit further. If that means you can see your heart rate on the screen, if that means a new pair of shoes, it doesn't really matter. If you're pushing yourself further and getting better results, then do it. If it's by following someone else, if it's by asking a trainer to help you out, it doesn't matter. Do what you need to do to get the best results out of it. And they're really my top tips for your F45 training, guys. Hope you guys absolutely smash it within this studio. Would love to hear how you're going. We'd love to hear what studio you're training at as well and how the trainers are and how the vibe is as well. It's growing all over the world. So I hope you guys are getting the most out of your training. I love seeing the results of the eight week challenge in particular. I think it's so motivating people to completely transforming their lives and I don't mean that lightly. So guys, I love being involved with the F45 training community. Keep it up, keep smashing it and I'll catch you guys soon. Plus, if you love this video, subscribe down below and I'll see you guys soon.